What's your favorite knife and why? Chances are it has to do at least in part with some sort of a great story. Maybe you lost it for a long time and then found it again, or maybe it was just given to you by somebody you really care about. Today, we are at Buck Knives and we are hunting down good knives and great stories. My name is Zach, I'm doing pocket checks here at the factory. What are you carrying, you carrying something today? Yeah, I got my 898 Auto on me. Right on. Favorite knife right there, favorite color. It looks like a little bit of love, a little bit of love? A little bit of love. I actually just got the spring replaced on it recently. Oh, so, so a lot of love. Yeah. What, what's your name? I'm Levi. Levi, nice to meet yeah. you, Levi. What do you do here? Uh, supervisor at the CNC department. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like a big boss. Yeah. <laughs> How long you worked at Buck? Just under 10 years. You got any stories? Like any Buck stories? Yeah, I actually do. Uh, me and my dad were on a hunting trip a few years back, and I actually got a, I got an elk, got it down, I skinned it out, and on the pack out, I lost it. Um, lost the elk? I, no, I lost the knife. Oh, the knife. the knife! I was like, that's a big thing yeah. to lose. No. <laughs> That's, but, uh, a, that's a sad thing to lose, though. That's yeah. a sad thing to lose. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a couple years later, I found that knife, and it was in perfect condition. It wasn't corroded. No. Which, yeah. And which knife was it? It was a 390. 390. Yeah. Cool. So, that's awesome. Hey, man, thanks for your time. Yeah. We heard that there's a gal here who carries, like, six knives on her every day, so we definitely have to find her. All right. I think I found her. Hey, how's it going? Hello. I hear that you usually carry one or two knives. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So what's your name? Leela. What do you got on you? Start with the biggest. Got the 75th anniversary Buck 119. Can't really find them like that. What's the handle material on that? Actually, I've asked around. They don't even know. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. <laughs> I have no idea. I have a skeleton one. Cool. Then I got the 112 auto. Nice. I put more oil on it. Yeah. <laughs> And Remington is not a buck, but I did get it as another Christmas gift here. I don't really know what this was. This was uh, from one of the gift tables. Oh, whoa, it's got a bunch of, it looks like they were like practicing lasers. Yeah, then I have two on here. I think this is my first buck knife. It was a gift from a boyfriend and a little house key that turns into a little pocket knife. Oh, and we got a boot knife? Boots. Oh my gosh, is it the Smith & Wesson? Yeah. So do you wear it on the outside of your boot like that? Yeah. Okay, so we just did a huge video on boot knives. That was one of them. So we've been asking everybody, how long have you worked at Buck? I've worked here since November 28th of 2022, so only a few months. So like, did you have a lot of this before you started working here? Um, not really. I was always into knives, but I didn't have the knife money for uh, it. So yeah, I would just gotcha. carry around other stuff. Are any of these like special or do you have a story around any of them? I would say just this one, cause it was as a birthday gift. It was probably like my first actual nice Buck knife that I was gifted to. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, look at that. We gotta check this guy out. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going, man? What's your name? Cody. I saw you got a 124 on your hip. Yes, sir. So I wanted to see what you're carrying and uh, yeah, what you, what you got going on? Uh, I got a 124, just classic, old school, nothing nothing too fancy about it. Uh, my car to handle. I love it. That's actually uh, Jamie who's behind the camera. That's his truck knife. That's one of the best. It, I mean, it's such a good knife. Full dude. frame, full tang, yep. can't beat it. Yep, yep. I got my auto Ranger. Dude, I feel like we all three just became best friends because... Oh, my man. Oh, you got the green one, too. That's what's up. Uh, I think that's it today. Well, how long have you worked at Buck, and what, what do you do here? I worked here since October uh, okay. yeah. this year. Everything on the line except sharpen, pretty much. Right on. Do you have any good Buck stories? Honestly, Buck Knives is part, part of my life since I was a kid. I, I, I cut teeth on a 110. In my family, it's, it's an heirloom. Yeah. I got my grandpa's knife, my uncle's knife, my dad's knife. Yeah. So, I mean, I got a million stories, man. Hunting, fishing, you name it. Love it, love it. All right, I know exactly one person on the floor at Buck Knives, and it's Danny, the warranty guy. Awesome, incredible guy. Uh, let's see what he's carrying today. Hey, Danny, how's it going? Good, 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 good. Hey, uh, we're doing pocket checks. We wanted to see what, what you're carrying. Okay, I got this guy. All right, what model is that? I don't even know, let's see. It's a 552. <laughs> it, it, it's an import, but I, I love it. I grind the heck out of it. I was gonna say, it, you've been using it. Yeah, if that don't work, then I use this one. <laughs> <laughs> there, there you go, I love it, I love it. 503. How long have you been working at Buck? Just short of 47 years. <laughs> this is the guy, dude. This is the warranty wizard, guys, the warranty wizard. Do you have like a, a, a Buck story, like from working at Buck or using your knife or history or something like that? I can't think of that. <laughs> the camera makes it hard sometimes. Yeah, it well, 47 years, that's awesome. We got our next victim here. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, good. Hey, uh, you probably saw we're walking around checking people's pockets to see what they're carrying today. So what, what knife do you have in your pocket? I have a 290. Ooh, I like it. This was the knife when my husband first started here 12 years ago. This was the first knife he bought. Awesome. Yeah. 
That's got some crazy serrations on it. Yes, we don't make this anymore either. What's your name? I'm Kayla. How long have you worked for Buck? I've worked with Buck for eight years. Do you have any like Buck knife stories? I'm not a hunter or anything. <laughs> well, you're carrying a knife though. Yes, uh, I like the company. So I think it's really cool that we're all American made. So that's what's kept me here for all these years. I love it. I love it. A lot of people have been here for a long time. Yes. And we'll uh, give you the $10 for saying nice stuff after. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what they're carrying in the offices. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Oh, so good. What are you carrying today? Today I'm carrying my 845. And I have a nice little engraving on there. I bought this in 2017 and it actually is a discontinued knife. Is this like what you usually carry on any, on any given day? I mean, you work here, so you probably have a lot or? Yeah, so this is kind of like my working knife. I do have a nicer knife, um, but this one is, I cut open boxes and stuff with it, kind of my beater. And what are you working on here? I'm building a 722. So we kind of have a Build-A-Bear, but you build a knife. So we call it a Build-A-Buck. So it's kind of a- I love it. Yeah, kind of play on words there. So. I love it. So is this just full of like buck? Stuff? Yeah, so you get to pick your handle oh. color and then you get to pick your blade color. So we have a ton of different options there. And then our spacer color. So this is what goes in between the two handles. And then we get to pick black or silver hardware. That's really cool. How long have you worked at Buck? I've only w worked here for about two months. Okay, so new, new. Yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome, awesome. I mean, you've had that for a while. Do you have any like great buck stories based around your buck knife? You know, my grandpa still has a buck. It's a 110 and it is from the 70s. Awesome. So it's really cool. It doesn't have those rounded edges like they do now. So it's cool. super fun. That's super cool. Yeah. Right on. All right, so this is pretty cool. CJ Buck of the Buck name. He's here, he still runs the company. He's gonna give us some time. How's it going? It's going well. Thanks for having us. You know, we're running around checking what's in people's pockets. So obviously we got to see what you're carrying. There we go. 112 so, the Slim, right? The 112 Slim Pro yeah. Torx, G10 scales, S30V blade. I love this steel. Now that's got a lot of love on it. Is that kind of your, is that like oh, your this normal? Is my everyday carry. Yeah, <laughs> has, has been for a couple of years. So every so often they'll come put stuff on my desk and I'm supposed to carry it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Give it a shot. The automatic knives don't do a lot for me, but the nice, slim, one hand work knife that uh, you, you can see it's got. Uh... Oh, yeah, no, I saw the blade, <laughs> everything. That's why I was this like, oh, wow, you like, you carry this. Little opener right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. Obviously, this is family business, so I'm sure. You probably been working in the business since you were in diapers. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, okay. So that's because yes, we've been asking everybody like, how long you been here? And it's so like just your whole life. Yeah, B basically my whole <laughs> life. My mom tells some stories. I remember one of the stories I have is is I had a, a bicycle. The seat bolt was too long, so it just gouged the inside of my leg. Yeah. I slipped off at one time. So my mom grabbed one of the kitchen knives, and because our hammer knife cutting the bolt. Yep. We thought, perfect. Yeah. Just What's a mom and a six-year-old going to do but grab off. one of the kitchen knives and shorten that bolt, which we did, but it did make an impact on the knife. And my dad came home and, and uh, you know, just clicked his tongue. Like, ah, uh, <laughs> what, what are you going to do? That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the... So that's what it was growing up in my household with cool. just knives everywhere. We kind of just are like wandering around at this point. <laughs> hey, we've met before. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. It turns out I knew two people at Buck. What are you carrying today? Well, main one, it's my A38 Mini Deploy Blackout. Ooh, okay, yeah. One of my favorites. Also got a 2022 limited edition 501. Is that a burlap micarta on that? That is burlap micarta. Mm. Custom slip there. So custom slip, did you make that? I did at my kitchen table. Got the, the contrast stitching, the terribly burnished edges. It actually looks pretty dang good, <laughs> dude. I was actually about to give you a compliment. I think it looks oh. nice. Well, here, you can have its twin. Oh, really? Yeah. Dude, Lee is the, <laughs> he's the man. I'm so stoked, dude. Do <laughs> so you got anything else? I mean, I got my, my flashlight, goes everywhere with me. Great. Olight, carbon fiber, tactile turn, titanium pen. My other, other pen, because you can't write in the same color with both pens, is my... <laughs> Sean Design, it's gone, however you say it. Ooh. Fountain pen. Uh, you're getting a little extra fancy now. I'm, I'm a little fancy at times, yep. Is this a cartridge or is this like a fill up with ink type thing? You can do both. Right now I've got it set up with the mini cartridges though. Cool, perfect. I hear the ink wells are a little uh, troublesome sometimes. It's messy, yeah. it's messy. <laughs> and I can be clumsy, so. Let us know what your guys' pen carry is. I wanna know. I feel like not enough people carry pens, you know what I mean? What do you do here at Buck? So I'm a industrial designer. How long have you worked with Buck? About five and a half years now. Do you have like any Buck stories or Buck history or anything like that? Uh, yeah, actually a kind of a cool one I didn't realize until I started working here. So when I was born, my family got all excited and my grandpa bought a Buck 110 the year I was born and tucked away with my parents. And after I got the job here, I was home visiting one day. My mom's like, oh man, you are not going to believe this. 
So I have a 110 that's like the same age as me that's never been used. That is so cool. And they just yeah. like, were they just waiting for the one day you would end up working at Buck to give it to you? You know, I I <laughs> probably would have never guessed I worked here growing up on a rural farm up in Canada. Right, right. <laughs> All right, we heard somebody had like an epic Lego collection. So we're going to, I think we found the office. We heard you had an epic Lego collection. What's your name? Uh, my name is Ryan Duckett. We wanted to see the Legos, but most, first we want to see what's in your pockets. So what are you carrying today? So I got a mini budgie a old buck tool, and then my handy dandy sword. <laughs> you really are the Lego guy. What do you do here at Buck? Uh, I'm the director of operations. Okay, right on, big boss. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. Sure, why not? <laughs> do you have any buck knife history stories? Do you have anything that comes to mind? Yeah, so actually we talk a lot here about like kind of buck DNA that goes into our designs. And I feel like uh, buck DNA is kind of something that's within me. My father worked for buck knives when I was a kid. You know, this is basically the only job I've really had in my life. I've been here about 16 years and he had, uh, you know, very similar positions as me. So kind of, I guess, uh, passed that heritage down to me. And now uh, I have the pleasure of running the manufacturing facility here so cool that's awesome man all right we got some people around the corner here i think here we go hey man how's it going hey what up guys so we just want to see what you have in your pocket today oh, yeah. so today i have the i have the 112 uh ranger le classic last year classic so it's got the 440 steel and uh the uh linen micarta handle but yeah this was the le from last year we've been asking everybody so what's your name I'm Nick James. Okay, great. Uh, how long have you been at Buck? I've been at Buck for three years. I'm sorry, I'm snooping on your desk right now. I'm I'm seeing uh, Pete's Pirate Life box. What's yes. the story here? Yes, busted. Uh, we have been talking with uh, Pete, who I know is a friend of yours. He did send us um, some of the Pirate Life swag, specifically the, the Pete's Pirate Knife. Nice. So yes, very cool. Uh, Pete knows what he's doing over there. Um, this is a beautiful knife. So. so now here's the question. This is the real question. Yeah. So is it going to be like a fight to the death? Who gets it? Or how's it going to work? We're we're working through that right now. It's on <laughs> my, it's on my desk. So we're going to keep it that long, and we'll, we'll see how we do. I like it. I like it. I mean, what is it? Uh, possessions nine tenths law or something like that? Yeah, exactly. As long as I have, they don't have it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We've been asking everybody uh, if they have like a buck story, or if you have a story about that knife in your pocket. Yeah. So my my dad carried a one ten for for. A super long time it was a gift from his dad who was a writer avid outdoorsman cool um we don't know where the knife went oh. so yeah so we don't have it anymore yeah, but yeah. uh no when i started working here uh my, my dad was super excited you know because he had his his on 110 story um and i personally grabbed it towards the ranger myself the 110's a little big for my pocket but i i really enjoy the ranger cool so. all right oh here we go so you heard everything over here? Yes, I did. What's your name? I'm Katie. Katie. I'm the graphic designer. Oh, okay, awesome. I've been here for over two years. Oh man, she like was really listening. She's like answering questions before I even ask them. Now I need to know what's in your pocket. I have a 112 uh, Slim Pro TRX. Great. Yeah, and the black one. Now are you carrying that back pocket or are you carrying that like... That's back pocket for me. Interesting. Comfortable. Okay. Is that because girl jeans suck, or is that just your preference? So, yeah. yeah, they're not as deep as the guy ones, I sure. think, but that's true. Yeah. So what's your buck story? All of my uncles and, like, my boyfriend and all my family members who hunt or super into outdoors were pumped when I started working here. Cool. All right, we got one more guy in this area. We can't not, we just have to. Like, we can't, it'd be rude not to, right? So, hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. I mean, you've already heard the whole spiel. Yes, so, a little bit here, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, so just, like, name, how long have you worked here? What do you do? Okay, so my name is Jay. Uh, I've worked here for... Gosh, since September, I think that's around okay. five, okay. six months or so. Yeah, 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 so. yeah. Um, And what was the other question? Uh, what do you do? What do I do? Okay, I'm the uh, videographer, photographer guy. So okay. I run around cool. cameras, like you guys. Yes, <laughs> right on. <laughs> what are you carrying? Okay, so let me preface this with this. Oh okay. no, D here's the thing. He may not have a knife on him, guys. He may not. Okay, let's, okay, I'm gonna let him talk. Quality over quantity. <laughs> okay, right? I, I mean, everybody would agree, right? Yeah. One knife that just can handle every situation that comes up, right? I love it. So for me. It's really just about, um, <laughs> shoot, where? Yeah, actually, oh, right, right there, okay. The Sprint Pro, okay? Burlap, my car to handles, all right? This is this is my EDC of choice. I love that it's just such an easy open one-handed. I'm not very good at opening a lot of the thumb stud knives. I've got these really bendy thumbs, so it just doesn't work out as well for me. So that is, uh, that is my knife of choice, and uh, this is just kind of my go-to. This was the first knife I was actually gifted, so that's kind of my story behind it. It was the first knife I was gifted, at least when I started working here. So, cool, right on. Um, prior, I did carry a knife as well I have for, I would say, the last five years or so. Uh, I found out pretty quickly working on sets that it's just a super nifty tool to have, and I use it every single day, so. Yeah. Love it, love it. So uh, the other knives that we're seeing here, these are just appendages that have grown having worked at Buck, right? Absolutely. That's yes. what I hear. Yeah. Yes. And it's... <laughs> I love it. 
I love it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I had to throw one. Word might have got around office that we were walking around doing pocket checks. I love it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Don't touch the bear. Uh, okay, don't touch the bear. We've got one more pocket check that's important. This is Curtis. Curtis has been the one walking us around, making sure we don't touch the bear, and introducing us to everybody here. What are you carrying, man? So I have a 112 Sport. Nice. So it's got the green micarta scales. Uh, I believe that's black anodized aluminum. And this was my first knife that I received when I started working here. Cool, right on. And how long have you worked here? Last July, so can't do math. Yeah, Seven almost months. a year. What do you do here? So I'm the social media community coordinator. Do you have any like buck stories? You got any like anything like that? My parents always had buck knives growing up. I remember every Thursday, my mom would take me and we'd go fishing at a place called Deep Lake in Washington. Okay, cool. It's right next door. And yeah. Uh, yeah, so we would catch these rainbow trout. The limit was some absurd number, like 20 per person per day or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that's and, awesome. And uh, I remember her filleting and gutting all those fish with a buck knife and she was super proud of it. Cool. Um, it was like the first knife that actually cost, you know, a reasonable right. amount of money. Yeah, yeah. So she loved it. She would never let me handle it because she knew I'd just beat it to crap. Of course. Yeah. Um, I was out there running around catching rattlesnakes. Didn't think much of it at the time. And uh, here we are today. So cool. What goes around comes around. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Well, thanks for walking us around. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for your time yeah. today, you guys. It's yeah. been a blast. It was a pleasure. Thanks, guys, so much for following along. Let us know what you're carrying down in the comments. Thank you, Buck, for everything. We've got a couple more videos coming from Buck. So keep your eyes peeled. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Hey, don't touch the bear.